Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews. Welcome back to another weekly entertainment news video. With today, we've got trailers galore. We got some first look at some Superman set photos, a Popeyes movie in the works, along with a Sims movie. So let's dive right into it. <laughs> So before we get started, if you are new to the channel, you do want to keep up to date with movie news, Lego news, TV series news, and sometimes video game news. If that is your thing, do consider hitting that subscribe button. We do this every single week. I've done reviews for all the Ghostbusters movies. You can go check those out. There's going to be a tier ranking as well over the weekend. So if you want to check that out, do subscribe to the channel. Timestamps will be in the description down below when it comes to these videos. So if you want to skip around, if there's anything that's more interesting for you, timestamps will be in the description down below. This week, so many trailers came out that it was so hard to keep up with. So we're going to breeze through these trailers, let you know my thoughts on it. I also want to know your thoughts on everything in the comment section down below. If there's a trailer that I missed or I haven't talked about, please let me know in the comment section down below. But for the first trailer, it's going to be a video game trailer that came out called Marvel's 1943, starring Black Panther and Captain America. First of all, the graphics look absolutely incredible i genuinely thought it was a movie with the characters especially black panther's character this most likely is going to be t'challa's grandfather because it's coming in the 1940s and you've got captain america in there. So the unreal engine looks unreal no pun intended but in terms of the trailer not a lot of gameplay you got to see but in terms of like the cinematic trailer it just blew me out the water i cannot wait they announced this last year i think it was with the playstation showcase i believe it was around the time of when like we first got to see spider-man 2 but this one is coming out 2025 cannot wait to see how this is going to look cannot wait to play this you see the trailer what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below because the next trailer that came out with the first movie trailer here was Zack snyder's rebel moon the scar giver part two basically now i did the review for the part one i'll link that somewhere over here the trailer while it does look good, some great action sequences, the trailer, you don't get to see a lot of the character building or anything like that. Like my negatives in Zack Snyder's first movie, not only was it like a shorter cut, like not the full cut of the whole movie, the characters didn't really have that time to bond, to blend, to work as a unit. So you're not really caring about these characters. And it just feels like it's the same situation with this. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the full cut or if they're going to release a the full Zack Snyder car at later on down the road. But so far with this trailer, just not, has not blown me out the water. I'm going to be checking it out because I'm going to be doing a review on it. But honestly, if this movie doesn't do it for me, then I might just skip the whole franchise or the whole Rebel Moon project altogether with this. But you see the trailer, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. The next trailer that also came out was the Acolyte trailer with Star Wars, with this one taking place 100 years before the events of Phantom Menace, which for me, I'm just so happy to hear. Like, we're getting away from the whole Skywalker saga. I've been wanting them to focus on like the stuff that takes place before Phantom Menace, like the Jedi and the Sith, Lord Palpatine's backstory, Plagueis the Wise's backstory. So I'm glad that they are focusing on that. I am a little bit worried because it is with Disney and their track record with Obi-Wan, with the book of Boba Fett. So some of the Star Wars, especially like the latest season of Mandalorian too, like, like the shows just haven't hit like they used to. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that the show does land. So far, it does look pretty interesting and it does have a lot of potential. So my fingers are crossed. So you see the trailer, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. Another trailer that got released sort of a teaser trailer was the alien romulus movie fed alvarez's alien movie and this teaser trailer was everything that i needed when it comes to this movie the You've got the horror elements. You've got little hints of the xenomorph. Honestly, not much to go by, but it's just having that same setting that you get from like the first Alien movie. It just felt like back to basics. And that's all I wanted in an Alien movie. So with this being like maybe 50 seconds long, a minute long, it got me really hyped to check this out. So I'm so happy. Cannot wait to see the full length trailer. Cannot wait to be checking out this movie. I don't know if it's going to be coming out in theaters or if it's going to be releasing on Disney+. Plus. I hope it's going to be a theatrical release, but but time will tell. You see the teaser trailer, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, one trailer that completely caught me off guard was the trailer for Harold the Purple Crayon. Now, this is based on like a children's book. I'll be honest, I've never read the book. This trailer with Zachary Levi, I genuinely did not know what to expect. The trailer doesn't really do it for me, but I'm not the target audience for this. It's about in the book, it's a baby that's got a purple crayon that can create things. With this, you've got Zachary Levi in a purple onesie 
with a purple crayon creating things and I don't know it just it doesn't really scream must see or anything like that it just screams like another Spy Kids type of movie it screams like another CW type of show but like I said I'm not the target audience for this if there are little Jimmies out there that are excited for this I'm really happy for you let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you are excited for it but for those of you that have seen the trailer what are your thoughts please I'm very curious about this one let me know down in the comment section below and for the next trailer we got released was the Chucky season 3 part 2 trailer and this one just completely gets me hyped for part 2 the bad shit craziness that's gonna happen throughout this you've got brad Dorif returning it looks like nick is coming back you've got chucky you've got tiffany having that heart-to-heart -heart phone call you they're just gonna go all out to survive and i am all for it so this just looks like it's going back to like that child's play that horror element that violence that bloodthirstiness that we love from these movies so i'm so so pumped about this it's definitely got that season one violence in there it's just got that shit is gonna hit the fan chucky's got nothing to lose so i'm all for it i cannot wait april is going to be a great month when it turns of like horror side you've got abigail you've got the monkey man you've got this so i'm so pumped about this you've seen the trailer let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below are you pumped about this have you seen it will you be checking it out let me know down below but for the final trailer the final teaser that got released was the beetlejuice or beetlejuice beetlejuice as they're calling the movie now they were doing sort of this countdown throughout the week of when the trailer is going to come out every day people are saying that this trailer is going to be released today it's going to be released now it's going to be released later on today but they finally released the trailer yesterday and while it didn't really give too much away it was sort of a one minute teaser trailer it gives you everything in terms of like nostalgia here you've got like the three generations of deets in the family and then of course michael keaton returning with an amazing line so not like the classical line you get from the previous movie but just an amazing line of him saying the juice is loose and you know what I want that on a t-shirt. The juice is loose and I cannot wait. So you've seen the trailer, if you've seen the teaser, what are your thoughts? Please let me know down in the comment section below. We definitely have to do a rewatch of the original movie. So keep an eye out on that. It's coming out way later down the year. But those are pretty much all the trailers that for me, I've kept up to date with. Again, if I've missed any trailers, please let me know about those trailers down in the comment section below. But we'll start off with the first movie news story we've got here, where we've got some casting updates when it comes to the Among Us movie. So this is coming from the variety confirming here among us animated series cast randall park yvette nicole brown elijah wood and ashley johnson so with this being a animated series here we've got confirmation randall park has been cast as the red in among us elijah wood has been cast as green in among us ashley johnson is going to be playing purple in among us and then yvette nicole brown is going to be playing the orange in the among us series so actually some really great casting choice in here I'll be honest, I've never played the Among Us game, so I can't really comment too much in terms of like what these colors mean or anything like that. But I have been very curious because I've seen these videos online. I've seen the people playing it online and it just seems like it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of stuff they're going to do with the movie. I'm a huge fan of all of these cast members here. So this has definitely piqued my interest more. But what are your thoughts are about the casting? For those of you Among Us fans out there, what are your thoughts are about the casting? What are your thoughts are about them associated with the colors? Does that really mean anything? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the next news story, we spoke about this last week, but there is gonna be an animated Cat in the Hat movie coming out. So this is like a remake, which is coming out in 2026, where you could have confirmation that Bill Hader is gonna be the one playing the cat in the hat, but we have got some casting update here. So we've got confirmation that Quintina Brunson Bowen Young and America Chavez, I'm so sorry I cannot pronounce the name here, but they are all going to be casting in the Cat in a Hat animated movie. I spoke about this last week, but I was a little bit disappointed that it's not going to be a live action Cat in the Hat movie, where it's going to be more of like an animated movie. I'll be honest, the only one I haven't really heard of is Bowen Yang, but the other two, obviously, and like I said, America Chavez, you've got Quentin Bronson in there. So curious to see what kind of characters they're going to be playing there, whether it's going to be thing one, thing two, or if it's going to be a different cast here. But very curious about that. So we should be getting more information when it comes to the movie here. Really excited about this because I'm a huge fan of the Cat in the Hat movie that came out back in like 2002, 2003. So you see this. What are your thoughts about the casting choice? Are you excited about this? Do you think this is some good casting choice? Who do you think they'll be playing? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the next news story, I generally was not expecting this whatsoever, but we've got confirmation that a Popeye movie 
a live action Popeyes movie is going to be in the works. Now, if you don't know who that is, growing up, I remember this character, he basically gets superpowers or super strength after eating a can of spinach, which if you really think about it, it's just trying to get kids to eat spinach to make them super strong, which, which kind of worked on me. I, I love spinach as an adult now, and I guess it is because of Popeye. But this is coming from the variety, confirming here that Popeye, the Sailor Man live action film in development from Chern and King features. So seeing here that the iconic Sailor Man and spinach chugger who first appeared in the comic strips in the late 1920s will be the subject of a new live action feature film from Chernin Entertainment and King's Feature. The project is currently in development as a big budget feature and has attached screenwriter Michael Kilione, who's from Sexy Beast, The Family, The Sopranos. This is going to be the first live action revisit of the character since the 1980 film Popeye led by Robin Williams. And I got to say like while I'm not super excited and super pumped to be checking this one out, I am generally curious to see what kind of tale, what kind of project, what kind of writing they are going to do with it. I don't know how many people would be excited for this because this is probably for like the older generation. Like I remember my dad knew about this character and he's the one that introduced me to this. Probably his dad also known about this. So this is probably for like the older generation because I don't really remember seeing Popeye since like the early 2000s. So within like the last 20 years, there has been no indication of a Popeye, whether it's a cartoon or animated stuff. So I'm guessing a lot of younger people will have no idea who this is. But for me, as like a fan of Popeye growing up, I'm mildly curious about this. So for those of you that do know who Popeye is, what are your thoughts are about this? Would you be excited to be checking this out? Will you give it a miss? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the next news story, it just feels like there's some wacky movies coming out here. So Among Us, Cat in the Hat, Popeyes. And now for the next one, we've got a live action Sims movie in the works. So Margot Robbie is set to produce with Kate Heron set to direct. But this is confirming from Jeff Snyder here. So a Sims live action movie. Now, if you've never played Sims, I remember growing up playing Sims, even like sometimes playing it now, but like my wife loves the game. You're just basically building a city, building a house, building a family or single if that's the way you want to play with your character there. And it just makes for hours of entertainment, hours of fun, especially building your own house and designing the house. I'm curious to see what kind of direction they can take with a live action movie here because with Sims, you have their own special language, but it's just sort of like living day to day life getting a job, getting a family, getting, doing whatever in terms of like the actual city there. So this really has, again, piqued my interest. Similar with like the Wise movie, a live action Sims movie, especially with Margot Robbie producing it. I'm very, very curious to see what they're going to be doing with this movie, what kind of direction, who's going to be casting in it. Because it reminds me definitely a lot of like the Minecraft, like, the Minecraft live action movie with com two completely different games, but it'll be curious to see how this is gonna work. So you see this and you hear this, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the next news story, it's another one I genuinely was not expecting and just wait for this here because this is coming from the bloody disgusting, confirming here that the Pooniverse, Winnie the Pooh's team's twisted childhood universe is building up to a mashup horror movie with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey hitting theaters in March, March 26, 27, 28. Wow, that's actually next week. I generally had no idea it was going to be released next week. I didn't even know if anybody knew it was going to be releasing next week's. But the Twisted Childhood Universe, what's the end game? As it turns out, they're planning an Avengers style mashup. For starters, the growing Twisted Child Universe will feature previously announced standalone films, Bambi the Reckoning, Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare, and Pinocchio's Unstrong, while introducing new characters such as Sleeping Beauty, the Mad Hatter, and Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And this is the best part here. So as we're continuing through the article, Reese Frank Waterfield explains, it will be complete carnage. We are heavily influenced by Freddy vs. Jason and the Avengers. We would love to see a horror movie where the villains group together and are going after the survivors. We have some incredible set pieces in mind and some sequence I think will truly shock people. The movies we are working on now as standalones are all building towards Pooniverse monsters assembled. So we add similar to the Avengers, we follow Pooh, Tigger, Rabbit, Owl, Piglet, Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty, Bambi, The Mad Hatter, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, joining forces to wreak havoc. Now hear me out. Picture Avengers Endgame. Picture the portal sequence from the Avengers. Now just picture that scene with portals of Peter Pan coming out, Tinkerbella, Bambi. <laughs> I know how ridiculous it sounds and I know people weren't a fan of the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey aren't honestly not a fan of the first movie, but this has some very curious potential in there. Like the fact that they can do like an Avengers style type of team up. Just picture like 
empty woods you've got all these characters and you've just got like their victims and you just see all these characters running after their victims like some lunacy i know i'm probably i know i shouldn't be this excited or this happy to hear about this but it just genuinely has a lot of potential that you could do with it so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below you see this puniverse coming out this avenger style puniverse with all these characters what are your thoughts I, are you mildly curious? Will you be giving it a complete miss? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, speaking of the Avengers, we have got a weird update when it comes to the next Avengers movie. So coming from Daniel RPK, he is apparently reporting that Kang is still set to be the main villain for the two upcoming Avengers movie. Marvel wants to add another villain to the plot. So Avengers 5 and Avengers 6, they are still looking to have Kang as the villain. Now, the way I say this is confusing and weird is because with the whole Jonathan Major situation, he has been fired from Marvel due to outside circumstances, which I'm not going to go into. So if they are looking to continue with Kang, there's been multiple reports that they've just not been happy with Kang. They're not been happy with the direction, with the reception, especially from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So it's very strange that they want to do continue with Kang. If they are, then they're definitely going to be recasting. And obviously, Common Domingo has been like the front runner of like the fan casting. So most likely, I would honestly pick him as the one to play Kang. But it's just very curious that they are still going to go with that, given everything that's been reported so far. But I'm kind of happy with that because... Honestly, Kang has been the best part of Ant-Man and the Moss Quantumania. Loved him in Loki. So I do want to see that story progress because it just feels like, again, I'm not going to go on like a Marvel rant or anything like that, but it just feels like he has not been utilized. Like the character has not been utilized as well as he should have done. So hopefully with this, it does mean that the whole Council of Kang, everything they've set up is going to have a good payoff, just depending on who they're going to cast and what direction they're going to go with that. But you see this and you hear this. What are your thoughts? Do you think they should continue with the King storyline? Would you prefer just another villain? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the final news story, we have got some set photos when it comes to the Superman movie, This the James Gunn Superman movie. So we've got a better look or the first look at the engineer. So this is actually coming from Just Gerard. So I just want to give them a shout out here. So you see Maria Gabriella playing the engineer. So you see her in what looks like the costume, but not possibly the costume so a lot of people are criticizing that it's not her comic book outfit i'll be honest i'm not going to sit here and tell you that i know about the character because i've got no clue but from what the research i have done and especially when she was first announced where it's showing here that her body is made of liquid machinery that can morph into different weapons which is basically the superpower and this is like what you see this is from the comic books is like how she looks like so it's like a more of a, like a bluer tone here and my guess is that this is not the full outfit or like the not that final costume here. It's probably just how she's looking right now. And then they might be adding CGI or like post productions afterwards. Because even like in one set photo, you see her having her arms sticking out. So most likely her arms going to be turning into some kind of weapons. It's probably like how you see it in like the Terminator movies when they turn their weapons into like swords. So that's most likely what she's doing right now. But can't comment on it not part of the movie so this is just my assumptions and my guesses but i do think that this is not going to be the full outfit or like the final outfit in the movie but it looks like we are getting some set photos people are desperately trying to get the set photos for david cornsworth's superman outfit i don't think that's going to be released though but we are looking like some set photos are starting to get released now when it comes to the superman movie with filming taking place but you see these set photos for those of you that are aware of the characters please let me know like what else is the powers too please i really want to know about that let me know in the comment section down below but that about wraps up for this week's weekly entertainment news video most of it was trailer based in some random movies that will be coming out so i want to know your thoughts on everything in the comment section down below for everything we've discussed and again if you are new to the channel do consider hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button hitting that notification bell so you're never missing out on a video and also keep an eye out because again we are going to be doing the tier ranking video for the ghostbusters movie so coming out again on the weekend along with starting the retrospective reviews for the monsterverse movie so appreciate all the support appreciate everybody watching these videos but i thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for listening this is yk reviews peace